you felt the tremors recently from the earthquakes of Sumatra, but that is nothing compared to what is to come. Brace yourselves for a far greater aftershock from a big earthquake that experts are predicting off the coast of Sumatra. The, uh, the big earthquake that we anticipate is an earthquake that will be produced by the mega thrust under these islands right here, under these Mentawi Islands, suddenly rupturing so that in such a way that these islands go, go flinging out toward the Indian Ocean on the order of five meters or so and rising on the order of one to three meters. So by comparison, the earthquake that happened here, the 7.6 that happened back on September 30th, the motions were only on the order of a few centimeters. So this is a much smaller, smaller earthquake than the one that we anticipate to originate beneath these islands. We expect it'll be about a magnitude 8.8, .8, plus or minus, say, 0.1. The threatening next big quake is smaller in magnitude compared to the 9.2 magnitude Aceh quake in 2004 that triggered off the tsunami. The tsunami killed nearly 200,000 people and was one of the deadliest natural disasters in recent history. So, how devastating would the next big one be? This, this earthquake lasted about 45 seconds. This one will last about five minutes. So the longer you shake a building, the, longer, the more likelihood is that it'll fall down. So there'll still be a lot of damage along this coast unless mitigation is, is done. There's about a million people between here and, and here. Maybe a little more than a million people. Now by comparison, up here in, in Acha, Banda Acha was 350. And if you include Mulebo and uh, Chalang and a few other smaller towns, there might have been a total of, say, 500,000 here. So, so the exposure is about twice as great here. A little bit smaller tsunami, a little bit more protection because of the islands, but twice as many people. So it could be roughly the same, uh, the same exposure then as, uh, as in Acha. The earthquake, the big one, right? How do you think it will affect Singapore? It'll be a longer duration event. Yeah, it'll be a longer duration event. If you look at this map, you can see that the, the, the Aceh earthquake, even though it was a 9.2, was a thousand kilometers away, long ways away. I, I think people felt that in Singapore, right? Uh, and the, the Nias earthquake here, 350 kilometer rupture, was a little bit closer, but it was still on the order of about 800 kilometers away. Uh, the 8.4 that happened in, 90, in 2007 was a little bit off at an angle. It was pretty close, about 600 kilometers. This one is actually the closest. Okay, so you'll probably that will it will probably be the biggest earthquake ride you get in your lifetime if you stay in Singapore. Despite more aftershocks and tremors, Singaporeans will still remain relatively safe. The island of Sumatra itself lies between Singapore and the earthquake zone, providing us cover. Once again, Singapore is safe, but it's a friendly neighbour, what should we do? With the knowledge that such a big earthquake will come, we might be better prepared than the 2004 tsunami, which killed more than 200,000 people. But what is being done? And how are the people of Sumatra picking up the pieces? We find out next as the documentary crew follows Professor Kerry to the island of Mentawai.